Corey. No, they don't. But I tell you what, he's been working hard. He's been locked in right now. Just his approach. You knew he was going to have a good day. Five hits. Wow. Standing in now, Corey Seager. Swinging a soft liner. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. On to first, and it won't be in time to end the inning as he just about did a somersault Not out there it. at second base. Right and kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Into the box, Mitch Henniger. This is line to left, and a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Man, he turned on that fastball right there, ripped the line drive, and scored the, the run easy. Nine. Second baseman, D. Gordon. Here's D. Gordon now. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Throw not in time, and that'll go as a bunt single. Great execution. Cut the third baseman back, and he just dropped a little drag on him for the base hit. Nice, nice, nice. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. One strike offering now to Hamilton. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. So credit him with an RBI as he really caught him by surprise there by dropping that down. The center fielder, Sid. Into the box now, Sid Sisk hit in the air to center field. Armus has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The M's lead it. At the plate, Renato Nunez. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Look out, 2-0 and oh now. That one's in there on the black, 2-1. and one. Hitters count now, here's the 2-1. and one. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. Right and with that five. in mind, we take a look at the league Michael. leaders in complete games. Under. And as you can see, he's right up there, fourth in the AL in that category. Michael Saunders oh, is in for the third time now as he takes a ball outside. It's 1-0. and oh. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1-1. One and one. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ball game, but his fastball is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. Here to take it is Seeger, and that's out number two. Now batting. The Into shortstop. the box now, Chad Pinder. Hinder. He doubled Hinder. earlier in the game, one for two to this point. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Oh Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. He's feeling it out there on the mound. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. A's are gone in order. And as you can see, they are way Daniel Kaloum enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit Number right 35. where it is. Daniel. 
Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. And he's shooting for history here as he's homered three times in this one. Seattle, third baseman, Kyle Seeger. This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field is fourth in the ball game as the blowout continues. One more time he gets a pitch to handle you have heard that before and you can add one more home run onto this already impressive number. Giancarlo Stanton now. Liner toward right center. But this will hang up a bit too long as it's taken in chest high for the first out. Ready once again. Freddie Freeman. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. From the stretch. And this will be fouled away. The 0 1. Bounce to first. Hanna takes it in. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The catcher, number three, Mike. Stepping up to the plate, Mike Zanino. And he'll be trying to replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. First pitch on its way. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Well, that ball was scorched, and I know it didn't hit the wall in the air, but it gets the to the wall. He still made a good decision Short not stop. to go to second, to Corey go back to first base. Seager. I think had he continued on, he probably would have been out. Here's Corey Seeger. In the dirt here. A runner on first with two away. There goes the runner. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And the throw will come in quickly from center. So despite the hit and run, they won't get the extra base here. Now the pitch before the base hit. Right he looks fielder. so ugly. Yeah. I don't know why they came back and gave him something better to hit. In now, Mitch Hanniger. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Saunders going back, and it's gone. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Twelve home runs for him now thus far, as this lead got even wider. I know he's a confident pitcher, but there's a difference between being confident and downright foolish. He just offered one of the most dangerous hitters in the lineup a straight heater, and it cost him big time. Now batting, second baseman. Here's D. Gordon D. now. Gordon. So run up to bunt here, but misses for strike one. Matt, I'm telling you, pitchers are stubborn, right? He gives up a home run on that very same pitch, but he came back with it. This time he got it down. He's stubborn. I'm going to come back. I'm going to throw it again, but I'm going to execute it. And he did. And he's safe. Billy Hamilton. Here comes the first pitch. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball.
Now the 0-1. Runner going a second time. On attempt misses. The throw down. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the run. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So the... Here's the German-born catcher, Leading Bruce off, Maxwell. The of the ninth, 0 for, for 2 the on the afternoon so far. Catcher, number 13. Into the windup and the pitch. Liner towards second. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a 1 for 3 game so far. Well, that's a first pitch single. Maybe they got to get a little more aggressive. He's dominated them early in counts and throughout the whole game. Maybe they've changed their game plan. We'll see. Are they going to be aggressive or continue to be passive? Joey Wendell stands in as he looks at ball one here. 1-0 one oh pitch on the way. Line to the right side. Hanniger is there, one away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Up next for Oakland. Coming to the plate Center now, fielder. Raymond Armas. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. A high fastball is in there. And it's grounded foul. 0-2, oh here it is. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. To second for one. And a good save at first on the offline throw, so they just get the one. At the plate, DJ... Johnson he's their last shot here with two away in the ninth Johnson. as they look to avoid the shutout yeah Matt they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one sneaks a fastball by him at the letters it's one and one well as demonstrated there that's a tough pitch to do anything with yeah good luck but hey a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really and he'll squeeze this one for the final out and the Mariners will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Yeah, they could only manage two hits against him the entire game. So they were never really in a position to even challenge him. Rock solid win and a memorable performance. 29 to nothing the final this afternoon. Seattle with the division leading 112th win. Jacob deGrom records his 21st win of the year and recording 16 strikeouts along the way. Jesse Hunt was slapped with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap for this afternoon. For Harold, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the Network. Is Jacob DeGrom, his 21st win of the season. The loss goes to Jesse Hunt. He falls to 7 and 10. Time of the ball game, 4 hours and 29 minutes. A reminder that extra BART train service is available on the Fremont Daily City Line or on the Fremont Richmond Line by accessing the ramp directly outside the stadium beyond the left field wall. AC Transit will also be available.